you know how big your competitive arena is? Are you struggling with market segmentation? Did you define the scope of your strategic business units? If you can't answer any of these questions and you are running your business with headlights off, you should probably make use of the ABLE model, a simple framework for defining any business with three lines. Sounds good? So let's move on. Since strategy is not simply a plan or worse, a to-do list, when the decision maker, whether he is an entrepreneur or a manager, is involved in strategic planning, the first concern is about defining the business of the company. Actually, this should be the first concern because this point is often underestimated. Some entrepreneurs consider their business boundaries as the industry where they are involved or as the market where they compete. However, this isn't true due to three main reasons. The product or service could belong to a number of industries. The industry could include product services that aren't offered by the company we are going to define. Substitutes and complementary goods create their own markets, even though they are completely involved in the competitive arena. If the starting point of strategic planning is wrongly formulated. Think even about the case of a startup business plan. The concretization of the long-term plan could carry around several evaluation issues for the rest of the company's life cycle. From a managerial point of view, if the manager knows the perimeter of the strategic business unit he is responsible for, he'll know where to fight and where to go to grow. Moreover, a proper definition of the business allows us to find hidden pockets of value, market gaps and internal areas to be improved. And that is where the ABLES model proves its usefulness. By the way, what does strategic business unit or SBU stand for? The three-dimensional business definition framework from Harvard professor Derek Abel is a model that has to be designed and bearing in mind the business definition's concern and the role of the SBU's competitive arena as a product market combination. Obviously, there always is a certain subjectivity degree, but this is basically inevitable. Even when antitrust authorities determine the company's market, their decision is subjective. There can be multiple SBUs in the case of a larger corporation, especially in case of geographic expansion, or it may be a business into itself in the case of a small company. Indeed, the strategic business unit is an elementary unit of the organization an autonomous entity from operation and strategy point of view. SBU's performance is often measured in terms of operating income and operating cash flow. Knowing the business definition concern and what a strategic business unit is, we can outline the ABLE model with just three line or access, abscissa, ordinate and applicate, like a three-day grid. The first one represents customer groups. The x-axis replies to the question, who are the customer of the organization? The main goal here is the customer segmentation and clustering. The second one represents customer functions. The y-axis replies to the question, what are the customer's needs? The main goal here is to deeply know the customer base until the organization gets the buyer persona's profile completed. The last dimension represents alternative technologies. The z-axis replies to the question, how can the organization meet these needs? The goal is to find the right techniques to satisfy customers, establishing a valuable long-lasting relationship. This way, it's possible to investigate which internal and external factors have to be optimized in order to establish a long-term competitive advantage. This is how a proper strategic planning is done. It's fundamental to start with the x-axis, because our customer is in the center, and then investigate needs. Only at the end of the modeling process we'll think about tools and instruments. If you want to perform proper strategic planning, avoid doing this 
Don't treat the Able model as a photograph of the company according to its life cycle stage. This model can generate more value if we move from a static approach to a dynamic one. Do you drive looking in the rear view mirror? I don't think so. It's definitely better to drive looking down the street. And this is the midterm, avoiding to look immediately near the tires. This is the short term, and for particular trips, some use a GPS, and this is the long term. Moreover, it's fundamental to include prospects and non-customers in the x-axis, performing a clear but precise segmentation. Now there are a number of artificial intelligence applications about this. Also, adding current KPIs and targets to the business mapping can provide a massive value to the management or to the entrepreneur, and eventually, the ABLE model has to be revised periodically since it's based on customers, technologies and competitors. They are constantly changing. But most of all, the ABLE framework is inherently linked to a number of strategic management tools such as SWOT analysis, Porter's Five Forces, Boston Consulting Group Metrics, Balanced Scorecard, Canvas Business Model, Ends of Metrics and so on. Well, mapping out a business, describing activities and setting boundaries often result in a cube. As we can see in the majority of books and papers, it's a simplification like any other model. Actually, if we apply the ABLE model to our business, we'll notice that we can shape an irregular box or even an abstract shape. Nevertheless, the strategic business unit scope is represented by the volume of the solid. If the groups, functions, technologies, combination generates autonomous, autonomous and differentiated entities, there will be multiple solids or simply multiple SBUs. The ABLE matrix shows a number of limitations, especially if the decision maker adopts is as formulated in 1984. However, it's still a powerful management tool because of its simplicity and the openness. It's quite easy to know what the company does, but it can be tricky to accurately define the business boundaries in terms of product market combinations. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please support the channel, the free content creation, and if you have any questions, feel free to PM me. I'll catch you later.